Hello friends and family. Welcome back to another one. This is a really, really quick hair update for you. I did take out my previous weave and I was actually taking it out because I was so frustrated I wanted to cut my hair. I had about three inches of growth and the itching at the back had started again. Remember, I shaved the back because of that. It had started again. So I was ready to, you know, cut my hair down, just cut all the relaxer off and then just go natural. And then I took my hair out, you know, and everything. And then I just realized if I cut it three inches short, I'm going to have to do something with it for a while because three inches short is short. And I'll be honest with you, I do not like my 4C hair texture, okay? But anyway, so that was the plan, but that's not what happened. So take a look at this video. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> so friends and family, this is sort of a relaxer update. Remember I shaved it back here. I shaved it off. So this is how much it's grown since then. Oh, let me remove this. This is how much it's grown since I shaved it off about two months ago. Since I shaved this part off, the back of my hair is thin. I mean, the hair is thinner because it doesn't have the volume from the back here that I shaved, so. But anyway, so I had about three inches of growth, probably a little bit more. And you know, I, I usually just text lax my hair to make it soft because I can't, I can't do 4C, I just can't. I won't. If I probably train myself with patience and watch maybe 500 YouTube videos a day, I can do it. But I won't. So that is it. I like this as it is. I am just happy that I can just wash it and it'll stay like this and I can style it easily and quickly. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this, guys. I I, I don't know, because it's just what do you do with that? It just looks what you do is keep on braiding the hair and just just, just braid it. And so as you can see, there's still you can you can just see. It's still got quite a lot of texture because I, I just need the hair to be softer, that's all. I don't need it to be bone straight, just softer and more manageable. But I did, again, encounter a lot of knots. I had a ball of hair in my hands like this. By the time I was, I was done with the knots, my head, my hair dreaded, like dreadlocks. They were in locks, okay, even after the relaxer. The, 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 the hair that had just been relaxed was fine, but the ends, I mean, I had knots. Look at this, some of it is still slipping out. But these were, the, the dreadlocks were about, some of them were about this thick, like my, and some were my, for my thumb thickness, they're in, you know, big ones. And the only way to avoid that when I wash my hair is to wash it like this. But I am not doing that with the relaxer, I can't. With the relaxer, I have to do this, and when I do that, everything knots up. What I did yesterday for bed, I just put this like this, and clipped it up here. And then, in order to keep it moisturized, I slept with this on it. I put coconut oil, I put coconut oil in my hair and I put this on here and then I tied a bonnet around it and I slept. It wasn't wet when I woke up, thank God, but it was definitely moisturized. I put oil moisturized and I also added uh, my Wave Nouveau moisturizing finishing lotion. And I said this was a quick one, didn't I? I used this when I was done. I think I've shown it in my product lineup before. This was my reconstructor. The problem is that when my hair was still in dreads, I used that. And so guess what? It made the dreads just solidify even more, okay? I mean, it is strengthening it, you know, the bond in the dread. What the heck? I'm like, why? I, I, Sometimes, okay, so I did it when I was tired. Don't do your hair when you're tired, guys. It's not too bright. It's not too bright. Yeah, not too bright. So, um, after I do my next touch up in about four months. That's another thing. So this was a seven month stretch. Stupid. Okay. I don't know what's going on with me. Just not too bright lately. And so this is February.
February, right, I had planned not to do my next relaxer till the summertime. So it was going to be another five months or so. Not spring, summer. Another five months or so. I'm like, just go natural at that point. You're going to have like five inches of hair, natural virgin hair. Just, just go natural. And I actually thought about it. But then just trying to do the braids under my weaves or wigs was just stupid. <laughs> just, just stupid. I'm like, it's taking me three times as long just to get the comb to make a line and just to hold this other side and comb through this and detangle it enough to do the braid. Come on now. I don't have, to, I, I don't have that kind of time. I just don't. However, the shampoo that I used for my hair oh my gosh straight from Eden amazing on natural hair just beyond amazing that made me want to go natural I said if my hair can sit like this I'm good and I had tried it on my daughter's hair it was great both my daughter's hair it was great so of course it's now up to here and it's three of us that used it and if you see my daughter's hair thicker than mine and as long as mine. That's, you know, those things are kind of reversing because it used to be that not my natural virgin hair was the one that knotted up and the relaxed hair was the one that was easy to comb through. And now it's reversing. This, this made it very soft and combing through it. And it was, like I said, three inches of growth and I could comb right through here and it was gorgeous until I hit here with the relaxed hair and then it got stuck. If, if I decide I don't want to show my hair anymore, then I'm going to go natural because it won't matter and I'll have this to make it soft. Um, I used my usual fiber specific uh, relaxer. I love that relaxer and I used one and a half containers of it. It's $65 a pop, guys. I, I, I don't know how long I'm going to keep doing this. And all the different things I was putting here, you see the videos that I, I showed. I was using the henna and rosemary oil. I was using the um, Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. And there's another video that I'm going to show you that later now I am using Minoxidil. That's a whole other video. <laughs> yeah. So. When I use oil on my scalp, I sleep with a shower cap, even when I had the weave and braids on. That's what I do to help it absorb overnight, and then I just take it off. I don't wash any of the oils out, I just leave it because I decided I can't wash my hair when I have braids in it because the knots are stupid. <laughs> All right, so quick length check. Um, I am aiming for bra strap length, and then I'm going to cut my hair. It's not a big deal to grow my hair long. I just, did it this time because my sister told me a couple of years ago she said every time your hair gets long you cut it you know every time your hair and and at that time i think my hair was about shorter length so i decided okay i've looked at some pictures of mine and i've noticed that's exactly what i do <laughs> so i said okay let me get to bra strap you know bra strap length and see and just say to myself that i did it and then i'm gonna cut it Okay. All right. So here we go. Um, this is ow. My nail is snagging. So this is this is the hair. Now, this because I cut this, it just made the back light. I'm not happy about that at all. That it's so light. It feels thin. So this is it. And I'm gonna try and take a picture and insert it. So this is this is my bra right here, and this is where the hair is. So I'm right on top of my bra. My neck is straight, I hope. So I'm right on top of it. People, I've seen people do this, and I'm assuming they're trying to tell you that they don't have a weave in. I do weave once all the time, so I don't really care what anybody thinks. If you think it's a weave, think it's a weave. I mean, that's almost a compliment to me. <laughs> my hair looks like a weave, and that's my own hair. That's a compliment. However, I'm going to do what other people do, just so you know what it is, and then you can take it from there. So yeah. So there you see my short little bits right there and there's my shorty right there and there are my shorties right there so it is what it is I'm just going to have to deal with it so if you can see now 
because of I've cut about this much down off I should, well shaved it off <laughs> so it's a little uh, light here right but there is coarseness which I love and um, I didn't flat iron it because I don't see the point uh, let, oh I have to do this too don't I this is what I've seen people do on YouTube so yeah I am in the armpit all up in there in the armpit right here <laughs> yes I'm in the armpit <laughs> Remember the balding spot? I can't find it. People, I cannot find it. And that excites me because I have pictures and I'll show you right here in the middle. It was right here, but I don't see it. You know what I mean? I am not seeing it. And I'll, I'll take, I'll show you a picture somewhere in here. Um, I don't, I, 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 I'm like, wait, I misplaced my bald spot. <laughs> Which means something that I used worked, but because I used so many different things, which one was it? So I'll just keep using those three things, and that is the henna rosemary oil, the, um, the what do you call it, the miracle drops oil, and now recently I started the minoxidil for men, again, and I need to tell you about it. Don't do it. <laughs> but I bought about four bottles, so I'm going to use it. But I will do... Uh, a comparison between this relaxer length and then the last relaxer length, okay? And that's about it. That's all I wanted to tell you. So that's my hair update. Have a blessed week. Bye.